Uh, Ami körülbelül ilyen van. Before is the power. So it's quite a small probability. You know, uh, knowing the uh, powers of two tells you it's a very small number. So what's the probability of uh, having one more protrusion? I'm running out of prizes, so I'm not giving away a prize uh, for this. But if you recall combinatorics, from school. Let's pick one protrusion on one dial and uh, none on any of the rest. So that's the number you get. So that's um, 2 to the power of minus 24. So that's obviously 24 times the previous one and, and so on. If you move uh, uh, two notches, that's at the power of minus 24, binomial distribution will tell you that the maximum is reached at 12. So it's half of the 24. So protrusions in one half, uh, no protrusion in the other half. And that's 16%, and it's way bigger than just moving one notch in one case. That's the binomial uh, spread. Uh, the probability range from 0 to 24. And uh, there's a peak at 12. And 9 to 15, it's nearly 90%. That is, that's the probability of the number of protrusions you will encounter when you move the dial around. So we'll have to move on from this. What's the probability of a cracker encountering the same sign as the original? This is the probability. And what is the probability of the attacker seeing um, a, a sign and you will have to subtract once. That's the probability. And subtracting 12 to get the original letter. So that's all you need to know. So OFPOB, etc., was what I coded. And if we subtract 12 out of O, that's the biggest. Um, probability so that the original letter was probably C and with some probability it may have been F E D as well because we saw looking at the binomial distribution and you continue on and on like this so can anyone guess when I coded so what was the original uh, message what was the original string? Well, let me give you a clue. The first letter was B. Who can guess? In Budapest. That's, that's the word, Budapest then, uh, which is Hungarian for in Budapest. So the problem is that the encryption key was rather unevenly distributed, and that was a problem. And uh, Shemon's uh, theory describes this, the entropial analysis of language. So it's 1.1 for this sort of encoding. So of the coded message, all you need to do is write out a table, and then uh, you can guess what the original text was. So uh, was this a successful machine? A machine? Who says that it was a success? So those of you who held up your hand when I asked if it was successful, who would say on this occasion? Well, one vote, another? Great. Great. That's very good. You stick, your, uh, you stick to your guns, and that's a major achievement. Unfortunately, it was not a successful solution in terms of protecting information. I'm um, not aware that the Russians could crack the code, but I suppose that they were able to. So I would have used a different category. In the interest of time, I will soon have to conclude. Well, today's results point out that there are many Hungarian achievements in cryptography. There are current achievements as well. And these scientific achievements are mostly such 
but you know that that's the way science is structured. Lots of people bring little bricks to build the large building of science. And bricks are built one upon the other, and someone else comes along and makes a small contribution. And it very rarely happens that someone, uh, a great genius, comes along and builds a whole new uh, floor so that uh, you reach new heights all of a sudden. But Hungarian um, mathematicians and engineers contributed in great numbers to this structure of science. They all had their small modules. Let me just mention a few. Janos Gonda, uh, open key algebra systems and their features, and the LSH uh, properties uh, was uh, one of the areas in which he did research. And uh, one of the biggest um, cryptographers was Tibor Nemetz, and uh, he was working with uh, POP. Uh, data compression and security relationships, and Gabor Tardos uh, wrote an academic paper on cryptography, and um, a lot of people refer to him, and Istvan uh, Vojda uh, teaching at the Technical University, and uh, decryption systems, linear approximation is his field. He's published extensively, László Csirmas, Attila Pető, Gyula Katona, András Sárközi, and uh, lots of others made modest contributions, but the biggest contribution by Hungarian researchers, I feel, was the following. And here's a short intro so that you get the full picture. And I also wanted to tell you this. We don't just have successful publications. Bruce Schneier yesterday mentioned hash uh, functions. Uh, there's a new competition. You can uh, submit proposals to replace the SH um, current standards. And uh, we've seen cases, uh, a research team of a countryside university uh, submitted a paper on an uh, SH uh, proposal because uh, the hash functions, certain features could be uh, boiled down to uh, the matrix mathematical uh, functions. But unfortunately, a publication soon appeared with conflicting points, so they were out of the competition. And this was an unsuccessful attempt to propose a new hash uh, function. But I'll describe the following figure, who was a lot more successful. In, in the two large area of cryptography, uh, that was mentioned by Bruce Schreier yesterday, and whenever he said uh, historical examples, uh, it belonged to the encryption of the old famous persons, and uh, later on they remain, remained uh, cryptic, and uh, now they be became uh, accessible in the public domain. But the public domain uh, started a great development after and Hellman's uh, and Diffie when they published uh, New Directions in Cryptography. Uh, Hellman is the bearded one and the other one is Diffie and it is uh, it appeared in the IAAA. Uh, uh, these are the uh, arisal of uh, uh, systems with double keys. Uh, open communication, you know the RSA system, uh, the algorithm of, of Rives Shami Adelman, which appeared in 78, and there was another merkel Hellman um, kind of um, Merkel is the bearded gentleman, uh, hiding information and signatures in a trapdoor knapsacks, uh, which again appeared in the IEEE. It was a new crypto system and that could read the RSH for a long time. Uh, exponential, uh, the attack was uh, under exponential time, depending on the size. Uh, that was the powering of large numbers and the multiplication of large numbers, and it was by orders of magnitude faster, up to the point when Shamir, uh, during a research project, um, uh, worked out a, a very effective attack uh, uh, 
uh, further developed uh, Loas Laszlo's article. And now we have this LLL algorithm in which Loas is involved. Uh, is the basis of lots of cryptographic um, attacks and analysis, but with LOAS is a good. They put down the NAPSEC algorithm uh, and the RSA is a counterattack against the NAPSEC algorithm. The attack time of RSA is a super exponential formula, whereas um, uh, Lovas's algorithm uh, is a kind of real time hacker attack uh, support. This is the biggest Hungarian contribu contribution to the, the development of cryptography, which was a kind of breakthrough. Uh, some words about the uh, cryptic uh, secret areas. Uh, Shreya mentioned yesterday, Bruce mentioned yesterday that uh, he knew lots of things uh, which uh, moved into the public domain only later on. The English uh, service uh, MC5, MC6 uh, used uh, open key system based on factoring. Uh, a key identification pro protocol was already invented by Williams in 1974 and was used by the British Secret Service. And there are two closing slides. How we can uh, uh, provide uh, uh, our system with proper protection in the state service area, in the state service, there is an authority. This is a kind of national security supervision. And there are government decrees uh, from 2010, which uh, regulates the uh, operation of this authority. And there is also national uh, supervision, which um, uh, licenses uh, uh, encrypting and the, the testing of encryptions. This is my closing uh, slide. It is impossible to break into this house. The front door is four feet thick and made of solid titanium. Uh, that, that's an informatic system, an analog of an information system, because it has a very strong um, door. This is uh, the cryptography in an IT system. We can prove uh, lots of things, but activity is in the background. Uh, we can really circumvent uh, and avoid a very, very strong protection with very strong cryptography. How can we protect our data? See, how, with the means of cryptography, cryptography we should use uh, secure, strong algorithms, which withstood all noun attacks. RSA is good, and the first algorithm that I've shown you before is, is good. But uh, if parameters are not appropriate, then they can be um, cracked. Proper choice of parameters, secure implementation, and uh, of course, a proper use of the system. Thank you for your attention. Uh, thank you very much. You have really enjoyed it.